So I really wanted a, a, a frame mount for my Hero 3 camera for when I mounted it to a quadcopter or someplace where I really wanted a lighter mount. So I figured I'd take you guys through the process of 3D printing one. So we have our Form 1 SL 3D printer over here. Use a stereolithography to 3D print. And I'm going to take you through the process real quick. So first place I check is usually MakerBot's Thingiverse. Um, it's a great compilation of a ton of files, so I'll just search. And it shows some pictures test fit on a GoPro, so I know it's going to fit. So I'll just go download this thing and click on the STL. One great thing about the Formlabs printer is the software that comes with it. It lets you select your layer height between the three resolutions and your material between the two resins that they offer right now. I'm going to be printing in gray today and at a 100 micron layer height because I, it's just a structural piece and I don't really need any fine detail. So we're just going to find the file in my downloads folder. There's the frame. I'm going to auto orient it, see what the software says that it should be mounted at. Um, and then I'm going to tweak that because I also don't want supports in places where the, con the camera is going to come in close contact with. Okay, so the frame is fully supported in the software. Um, it gives us a job volume of 20.3 milliliter, 20.6 milliliters, and an approximate time of two hours and 53 minutes. So now we're going to go over to the printer, put some more resin in, and I'll show you the transfer process. Usually, I like to top off the resin tray before each build. Now that the resin tray is all topped off, I'm going to go ahead and send the file to the printer. So I'm going to form. So we've gotten the part all dry, and now we're going to remove it from the supports. And they just break off, they kind of sound like Velcro actually, you can hear them. You can hear them as they break off. So the supports leave these little nubs, and what you're going to want to do, or what I usually do, is just take some wet sandpaper to it real quick inside the alcohol bath, and sand them down real quick, and then we'll test fit it on our GoPro. All right, so here's our Hero 3 frame that we just 3D printed. Um, you can still see it's still got some flex from the sanding and stuff, but we're going to try and fit our Hero 3 in there and see what it looks like. Put the screw through. And there you go. Like it was made for it. Because it was.